how we doing? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play. And allegedly, Sony PlayStation have been hacked. Now, if you guys remember about a decade or so ago, a similar thing happened to very big proportions. I don't think this one's quite as big. However, a big hack like this is still a bit of a dangerous situation. If you are happening to be playing on a PlayStation console, I would suggest you go and change your passwords on whatnot just to be safe. You know, it's better than having some douchebag get in and having access to like your bank details if you've ever bought something on your PlayStation, which I would imagine most people have. So just keep that in mind. But a ransomware group claims to have breached all of Sony's systems. The group behind the alleged attack says it plans to sell the stolen data. So a ransomware group called Ransomed.VC claims to have successfully breached Sony's group and is threatening to sell a cache of data stolen from the Japanese company. While its claims remain unverified, at least as of now, Cybersecurity Connect reports that the relative ransomware newcomer has racked up an impressive amount of victims since bursting onto the scene last month. So that's like the hacking scene. We have successfully compromised all of Sony's systems, the group claimed, on both clear and dark nets. Uh, we won't ransom then, we will sell the data due to Sony not wanting to pay. The data is for sale. So basically, if because Sony doesn't want to give them money, they're just going to sell the data online to anyone. Which again, more reason to go in and change your password just to be safe if you play on a PlayStation. According to the Cybersecurity Connect, the group has posted some proof of the hack data, although it says it's not particularly compelling information on the face of things. So it's still a little bit up in the air, but better safe than sorry. Change your passwords. It includes what appears to be screenshots of internal login page, an internal PowerPoint presentation, several Java files, and a file tree of the leak, which seemingly includes fewer than 6,000 files. But that is just as now, I will add that, you know, it's possible that they're still getting stuff, you know, this is spreading, there's no real way to be sure, at least as of right now. So the group listed a post date of September 28th, which after which if nobody purchased the data, it's presumed that Ransom VC will publish the data wholesale. So they said that both the ransomware operator and a ransomware as a service organization, <laughs> It claims to be a secure solution for addressing data security vulnerabilities within companies and also operating in strict compliance of the GDPR and data privacy laws. So in case the payments were not received, we're obligated to report a data privacy law violation to the agency, the group says. So most of the ransomed .vc members reportedly operate out of the Ukraine and Russia. <sighs> Yeah, I can't really get into that last part because of uh, YouTube's terms of services and, you know, I don't really want to get a strike on this channel because that would be a headache for all the other channels. But, hmm, I think it speaks for itself in that regard. Look, the biggest thing that I can say for this is, like I said a few times on this, if you do play on PlayStation, just change your password. It's better to be safe now. I know it's a headache to change your password, but it's better than getting these fuckwits going and getting all your private data and God forbid access to your bank and who knows what else. So better safe than sorry, at least in my opinion. But we're going to see how this one all plays out. Maybe it's all just bullshit or maybe this is building to something bigger. If you guys remember about 10 years ago, the the hack that happened then which shut down PSN for, I want to, was it like a month or something like that? It was of a big major level. At least as of right now, we're not quite at this stage, but who knows how this is going to play out. So you tell me how you feel about this in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com and I'll see you all in the next video.